to express our solidarity and support for so many people, especially families, children, their parents, grandparents, who so many have been killed, as you mentioned, in places like Yemen and Somalia, Pakistan. They cannot come here to tell their story about what happened to their children when those killer drones hit their neighborhood. How they were first frightened by the sound of the drone circling over them. And then without warning, they're gone. They're gone. There have been hundreds of children whose lives have just stopped instantly, just like that. A wedding, a wedding. Here's a young couple so in love, just beginning their lives together. Their marriage. It's a marriage ceremony with all of their family and friends. Not long ago, a, a drone killed the bride and the groom, their family members, children of their families. What, 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 what is this about? One of the signs here is, you know, drones kill kids. They don't distinguish between terrorists or the so-called militants, insurgents, and civilians. They kill children. They kill their, their dogs and cats. They kill their loved ones, their grandmothers and grandfathers. And we are here to say no to this madness. We, this walk is a, just a humble expression try to remind ourselves and people we meet on the highway along the way from you know, Fort Benning to Atlanta that we can't be silenced. When there's this kind of killing done in our name, when there's this kind of injustice, silence is complicity. And all we try to do in a humble way is to speak for people who cannot come here to tell their stories. We live here the, the billions of dollars going into militarism in these drones is being done in our name and with our tax money. We are complicit in this. And uh, we are here to say no to this and again to try to express our love and solidarity with sisters and brothers in these countries who can't be here to tell their stories.